Today 15 and you are your students are. Hi, Chris Sanders here with my correspondent Dale Earnhardt Johnson to give you a morning news show. Uh, EHS Student Council News. Student Council will be hosting a snowball dance from 7 to 10 p.m. in the cafeteria Friday, February 20th. Uh, ninth and 10th graders will elect six couple court to vie for snowball prince and princess, while the 11th and 12th graders will elect the six couple court to vie for snowball king and queen. The cost for the dance is five bucks a person. Tickets are sold at the door. Contact Ms. Smith or any student council member for more info. This dance is for students only 9 through 12 only. Students in grades 6 through 8 will be permitted only by invitation from a senior high student. Uh, junior class is selling roses for Valentine's Day. They will be on sale during A, B, and C lunch. It costs 2 bucks and 50 cents each, 14 for 6 or a dozen for $28. They will be sold January 28th, less than a week away. Uh, don't forget to send your friend, sweetheart, or secret crush a rose for Valentine's Day, pre-order only. Jarrett. Chris, uh, snowball dance you in? Oh, my father was the 1979 snowball king with a broken cast and a cowboy hat. So that means you're gonna carry on the family tradition? Oh yeah. Vote Chris Sanders, folks. Pencil mustache all the way. Vote Chris Sanders. <clears throat> we now have a interview with Miss Hunt about a fundraiser she is doing. Uh, we're here with uh, Mrs. Hunt, and uh, Mrs. Hunt, could you explain what the uh, fundraiser we are presenting here is? The fundraiser is something that the sophomore class is doing, and it's a fundraiser that we just started this year. What we're doing is creating personal uh, personalized jewelry for anybody, anybody who r would like it. Uh, we're running a special for prom and Valentine's Day, so if there's someone special in your life, your mom or anybody, you can order jewelry, and I've got some samples here you can look at. Uh, what are the prices for these items? Uh, depends on what you're looking at. Uh, earrings, a, a set of earrings like some of the ones I have here, run anywhere from uh, $3 up to 6 depending on the type. If you're looking for a set of jewelry, like what I have on with a bracelet, earrings, and a necklace, uh, that would run anywhere up to $11 around there. There's a price list. Uh, posted outside my room too. Sounds good. Who should students contact if they're interested in purchasing these items? You can contact me or you can contact uh, Lauren Honhart, Dominic Dietrich, Kirsten Barron, or Brittany Arp. They are my sophomore class officers. Uh, what events or what is this fundraiser supporting? It's supporting the sophomore class so it's building up uh, some of our their cash flow for the prom that they'll have next year. All right, sounds good. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Time. What a great interview. She should have been a newswoman, Sanders. You know what I'm saying? Well, I was. I hear you. News from the guidance office. The scholarship applications are beginning to come in the guidance office. Seniors should start checking them. Check the website that are listed to make sure of the deadline dates. When transcripts are required, make sure you, you allow enough time for processing as copies have to be made. Always read the material to make sure you qualify. Chris, you done any of those yet? What are we qualifying for? Seniors Watch is in the mail. Information on upcoming FAFSA workshops set for 2-12-15. You must register at Warren County Career Center, phone number 814-726-1260. Uh, athletic news, boys basketball will be this Friday. Against Youngsville at Skin Town, Johnson. What are your thoughts on the game? Guaranteed victory. W. If these Braves were not too tight, I'd call you foolish myself, but they are. The game's actually airing on ESPN 8 The Ocho. And following will be amateur midget throwing, so make sure you tune in. Well, that's our show, folks. That's Jared Dale Johnson, and this is Chris Sanders signing off and saying, Have a great day, Eisenhower. Oh, didn't see you guys there. Uh, we have an episode of Night Walking right now. I don't know who's going. It's all right. Bye. So while uh, we're here, Dylan Dennison, and uh, Dennis, you know who played in the Super Bowl last year? Uh, if he gave me a little bit, I could probably think about it. Um, <laughs> you know who's played in the Super Bowl this year? No. No. All right. Well, we got uh, we got the Patriots, right? Yeah. We got the Patriots and the Seahawks. So uh, what's what's your prediction? Well. It all depends if the Patriots let the air out of the balls again. That's right. Uh, but 
I don't know, probably the Patriots either way. Thank you, sir. Appreciate the time. Yep. Dylan Dennis. We're here with uh, Justin Repke. Repke, who are your predictions to win the Super Bowl this year? Seahawks. Why? Because Patriots. That's right. Justin Repke, folks.